What's up everyone, Jay's Two Cents here, and it's been a long time since I've done any sort of experimental video regarding water cooling. We tried water cooling with milk, Powerade, uh, I don't even know what else, oh, orange juice. That was a fun little series. We haven't done anything like that in a while, but ever since the Post Malone series started, all the way back to his first video, the number one comment has been, water cool his system with beer. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna use Bud Light, that's his favorite beer. I figure it's the most water-like. Yeah, we're not gonna actually water cool his with beer, but I figure we at least see what happens when we try it with mine. Yo, dude, what are you doing? Shopping for a case for my new build. What are you looking for? I want something designed for water cooling. Fractal design to find us all the way. Check it out. Plenty of airflow, plenty of open interior for water cooling, radiator support. It even has mounts for your reservoirs. I don't have enough room for my hard drives. Okay. Fractal design. R5. Look at all those hard drive cages. And you can fit your radiators and water cooling in here. No, I got a lot of hard drives, but I also have an EATX motherboard. Okay, I'm gonna try something here. Okay. Bear with me. You might wanna stand clear. Ugh. Never actually tried this before. Okay. <laughs> it worked. Fractal Design Defined R6. You can fit all your radiators, a crap ton of hard drives, and it fits EATX. Dude, this is perfect. Nailed it. Yeah. Uh. Now before we get started with today's video, I wanna remind you that I am doing a giveaway right now in collaboration with Fractal Design and Exotic PC. We are giving away a $4,000 custom rigid tube bent water-cooled PC, so if you guys missed that, Look in the description below and you guys will find a link to that giveaway. But moving forward, this is actually the leftover beer we had from the last Post Malone video. So obviously we need a baseline. We need to know kind of what the normal conditions would be. So we have OCCT running right here on medium data sets because a large data set doesn't do enough heat. Small data set basically hammers our 8700K and puts it up into the 80s and 90s, even at stock speeds. We are running all cores synced and we are running, like I said, the medium data set. So these are what our temperatures look like right now. The test has been running for, I don't know, two minutes. But before that, we did a lot of testing. So the heat is already put into the loop and this is roughly where we're sitting, but it is a 4.7 gigahertz all core, technically an overclock. So this is where we are. We are sitting in the mid 60s to the upper 50s. Our max temps, as you can see, will momentarily hit into the 70s and even 82C on one core. Proof that the 8700K is definitely a hot CPU. There's no doubt about that. We know that. But what happens when we put it on beer? Plot twist, the PC just gets it drunk. This is why it is so important to have drain valves in your system. Our bodies have drain valves for a reason, you know, your butt, your pee pee. I find it is just as mesmerizing to watch a system empty itself as I do filling them. So we need to make sure we flush out all of this glycol-based coolant though. So we've got the entire system bled of any of the glycol-based coolant that was in here. Went through a ton of distilled water. It's all, it was all nice and clear, so it's cleaned out as much as it can be. I didn't want to mix the beer with that. I don't want to make an explosion or anything. I, don't, I know it's not gonna happen, but still. But we noticed this when we took the cap off. This system has been together forever. It's gone through a couple of coolant changes in the last two or three years, but check out the top of this. This is corrosion. This is corrosion. I don't know what this cap is made out of. This was actually the original Alpha Cool cap that came with the top of this combo. But we actually noticed uh, the top, the underside of the cap was also green too from where this was. So this is corrosion. This isn't actually algae. This is why it's really important, guys, when you're shopping for like the eBay specials and the cheap China knockoffs, you don't know what it's made out of. I mean, they may advertise it being made out of certain things, and I know AlphaCool has changed a lot of their manufacturing process since this was made, so hopefully this isn't a problem. Nice catch. So hopefully this isn't a problem that will continue, but I just wanted to point this out. There's no corrosion or, or growth anywhere in this loop. It's not in the blocks, it's not in the radiator, just on the cap. So that, that's strange. Just thought I should show that, but it's possible now it could have ended up in other places in the loop, so eventually we need to do a full teardown to investigate that. I just thought I would show that. I also have propped up the system here at kind of an angle because we, what I want to avoid here is getting a big mess of foam. Uh, I think this is gonna turn into a big foamy mess the moment that we actually start putting this through. It's nothing like piss water. <laughs> I think the moment I turn this on, it's just gonna, it's gonna turn into a big foamy mess. The hard part's gonna be getting it in there. <laughs> It's just getting it in there is gonna be the hard part. You know, we sh how to pour. Oh wait, we have a funnel. 
I mean, this is not how you pour beer. No. <laughs> There's also another reason why I'm doing this, guys. It's not just for the entertainment factor of like, what happens if you water cool with beer? I wanna see the color of Bud Light. I wanna see what it looks like because I'm gonna try and recreate it for Austin or Post Malone's build. Nick, do you know of any way to get head to go down faster? Huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, sip it. Oh, never, don't sip it. Yeah, you gotta pour it from the side like that. I'm gonna just turn it on with all that foam right now and see what happens, what do you think? It's gonna fall even more. I hope get some paper towels ready. This is what it does in your stomach. That's why you get the beer burps. This is what this is what happens. <sighs> what we should have done was stuck the tube, the, fill, the drain tube at the bottom of there, and then fill it from there. That way, you won't get like inside the reservoir, and then fill it from where you already have water or beer. So get a tube. I mean, you know more about beer than I do. I mean, shoot, I don't drink very often. Okay, I'm just gonna let it go. Wah! It's just like beer aroma just everywhere right now. Oh, we're getting movement. No, it's not helping it at all. This is the worst idea ever. As long as we get movement, that's what matters. We got movement. We have beer flowing through the system. The question is whether or not we'll ever get the foam to actually go down. <laughs> I don't think we're going to. I think this is just gonna keep and it's just gonna keep foaming forever. Is that carbonation? No, not the carbonation as much as like the yeast and the hop, all the hops. Eh? eh? Oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. Every bit of liquid we pour in there, every bit of bubbles we get out of there, it's not nearly as golden as I thought it was gonna be, so this might not be that hard of a mix to make for Austin's PC to look like beer. It's just a slight bit of yellow dye and maybe a, like a drop of orange, like a tiny drop of orange. Oh, I have an idea. Where's our pumper? I can pump out the foam. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh my God. Oh. Crap. <laughs> Obviously you would never be able to run, back of my leg is wet. <laughs> that happens when I do PC stuff. Uh, you could never run beer in a system like this. It will rot. It's gotta be kept cold or it's gonna get nasty. So this is just for science, okay? If we can call this science, this is probably one of the most unscientific tests ever. We don't have a hypothesis. We don't have a prediction. There ain't gonna be no conclusion. This is just like, shit, we have a science project due tomorrow. What do we do? I don't know, put beer in the computer and see what happens. <laughs> it's just a foamy mess, like I said. Uh-oh. It's still going up. So if I turn it off, let it uh -oh. sit. Ah! <laughs> that reservoir just looks like a nice glass to drink. I know, right? Doesn't this, this actually looks a little tasty. Like whether you like beer or Bud Light or not, just imagine this is your favorite beer, okay? It's your favorite. Mine happens to be Hefeweizen, deal with it. But I'm looking at what's going through here. There's more fluid going through here now than foam. Like if you look at the tubes over here. So I think we're about to be in a place where we can actually start it up. The beer isn't, I mean, the brain doesn't need to be hydrated. Yes, it does. Ooh, pretty. Oh my God. Bubbles. I'm a lightweight, guys. I'm sorry. I've been drinking the beer in between the shots. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the rest of this video, who cares? <laughs> all right, all right. We got to see what actually happens here. So I can't help it. I'm light. We went drinking with Post Malone the other night. I think I could throw him back. We had a point to this somewhere. So one of the biggest takeaways is that this is a lot more clear than I expected it to be. Yes, for all you beer guys and your IPAs and crap, I know they get darker. He likes Bud Light, that's why we tested that. It's, a, it's slightly gold in there, but what happens in systems like this with reservoirs is the reservoir always looks darker than the tubes because there's a higher concentration uh, and depth of the fluid. So it looks a little more gold in here than it does in the tubes. The tubes almost look clear. What do you think? They almost look clear, don't they? Yeah. I think one, because this came out of the refrigerator and it's still really cold, I think the initial temps are gonna be great. Look at that when it turns on, look at this. It just looks tasty. 
I mean, it's like any other fluid. The, how much and how well it cools, it's definitely colder, but that's because it's chilled, right? It's a cold fluid right now. So our medium data set, let's see what happens to the temp as soon as we pop it up. Look at that. They are initially colder than the water, but they should be. Like I said, they were they came out of the refrigerator where the other stuff was room temp. So we just gotta let this go for a while now. I'm thinking, what, 15 minutes? 15 minutes should be enough to let the loop kind of equalize to see what happens. 15 more minutes of me drinking beer. So Nick had the bright idea to open the lid, the cap, while it was going, and our temperature is like, which are sitting pretty good right now. It's only been running for six minutes. They're in the 50s and 60s. You see how it shot up here into the 70s and 80s? Nick opened the cap. He was like, I didn't want to let some of the pressure out. I was like, no, I think it's fine. Because all the bubbles and stuff were like gone. And basically it was turning flat, which is what happens to beer when it aerates and, and turns warm. It goes flat. So he, he cracks the top, it goes whoosh into foam and like comes up real quick. And he like capped it off before it overflowed. And the second he did that, it turned into a big airy mess. And then the temps were like, bing, they like spiked. So why not try it again? There. Oh, it's still going up. Shit. Yeah, but see, now that you pull air in the system, it's really not that bad though. It's actually cooling really, really well. You can see where you opened the cap right there. I think this is more what I expected to happen, but when you let it just sit under pressure, it's not that bad, but Nick's afraid it's gonna pop off a hose because we had an experience here that we didn't really talk about a while back where we actually created a geyser. No. Crap. So I, I had this bright idea of just leaving the cap open so that it could just keep expanding. Oh man, I just don't want to get on a, we have a running system right here. So we've been running now for 14 minutes, close enough to our 15. Our temperatures are sitting in the mid to upper 60s, couple cores in the 50s every now and then. You see our max, this was when we kept playing around with the foam, so that number is kind of. What can you take away from today's video? One, apparently we've run out of ideas. I don't know, something like that. Two, you can cool a computer with beer for a little while until it rots and ferments and turns into a disgusting algae filled rotted mess. So the other takeaway from this video is guys, it was just a pure piece of entertainment. Oh. Okay, the question is gonna be what happens when we try and clean it out. It, def it smells like when you walk into a bar bathroom right now. It's the best way to put it. So I'm just gonna be running distilled water through here, probably a couple gallons of it just to make sure that we get it all out and we've got our jumper on there. So as it's draining, I just kind of keep topping it off and it will keep circulating through the system until this comes out perfectly clear. I don't think this is gonna be a problem to clean. Honestly, guys, I think it's gonna become clean pretty quickly. So while I keep doing this, why don't you guys do this? Why don't you guys go and check out the links in the description below, one to the giveaway, two to the other video we did where we tested, like I said, milk, orange juice, Powerade. We have another video we tested thermal compounds with things like peanut butter, some Burt's Bees cream and Oreo cookies, the Oreo, the Oreo cookie filling. So you guys can give this video a like if you appreciated us putting our, our components through this torture just to see what happens. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Give us some more suggestions. Obviously enough people suggested try cooling a system with beer and we did it. So we don't give any peer pressure at all. This was our idea. You didn't make us do this. All right, maybe you did, whatever, I don't care. See you in the next one.